Did Albert mess up my hair? You tell me if he did, right? He does that. I think it's because I'm one of his few friends that still has their hair, but we're not going to get into that right now. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm a, a big Beatles fan like all y'all. And you know, you have to search, but there's a Beatles blues tune called Your Blues. And I had the, the lyrics of Your Blues uh, that John Lennon had handwritten. His, many years after he had passed, his wife had taken an art exhibit around the, the world. And when it came to Chicago, I was fortunate enough to pick up the lyrics. And I always loved the song because the, the, at the time, the Beatles were the biggest band in the world. And he was married, and he went to... Uh, to India and was there for about two weeks where he met Yoko Ono as well as the Maharishi and a bunch of other stuff that went down. And then he wrote on the flight back from India to England, he wrote the lyrics to Your Blues and then he immediately went and got divorced and never was without Yoko Ono for another day in his life. It's, it's a crazy story. And, and if you, you break the lyrics down, he was the most popular man in the world at the time. And he was just lonely. There's no other way to say it. He was lonely. Tonight 
right time. Be the right time. Be here. Be with the one you love. Love is, yes, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. 
It's been a long day, but the best is yet to come, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready, huh? We're going to do a few more tunes and we're going to bring up this guy that's got a G that you don't pronounce. Don't figure. I don't know why it's there, but we could have just left it out. Mr. Albert Castillo is in the house. Let's try that again. Mr. Albert Castilla is in the house. So this gentleman here is going to keep it all together so we didn't have a lax or a moment of musical quiet. Some badass right? There is a gentleman. He's a wonderful gentleman. I don't care what anybody says. I like him. He's a born again hippie. And it's funny, but he asked Pete St. George, he is also a descendant of the Vatican. Frank Mack!
so much, folks. I want to thank y'all for such a wonderful time. I ain't going nowhere. I've, I've been known to hang out and jam with my good friend, one of my best friends in this whole world, Mr. Albert Castillo. So I, 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 I'm just loosening it up. <laughs> thank you, Frank, for coming. Thank you, the invaders, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Belanda. Yeah. Pete St. George. Yeah. Tommy E. My name's Eric Gainhoff. We do this same thing every Thursday. Just a few less, a few less performers, but it's always a great time. We're gonna do one more and then give it up and have Albert come set up. And we're gonna have some fun. A little bit of jam at the end of that. Here we go. Thank you. 
We're going to take the first momentary break, just for about 10 or 15 minutes. Let's give you all some quiet. We're not going to put some recorded music on. I'm going to let Albert Castillo's band get up here and play. This is going to be the real treat. I hope you enjoyed the festival. Please make sure you go say something on Eric Wickstrom on Terror from Out of Sight. Upload some pictures. Uh, my name is Hawk Levy. You'll see me on Facebook as well. And thank you all for coming out. We've got to have a... The show is not over. It is just beginning.